So, are you guys struggling with Filament and or on a PC playing with the S Plus mods? Uh, stick around and maybe I can help you out with the catchers and show you how to get Element quick, quick, quick. How's it, Arconians, and welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I just want to go around. It's going to be a quite a quick tutorial video. Um, please note, I'm not sure if this works on official, but uh, if, it, if it's got the S Plus and you can do the Gacha Gavengers like you see my Gachas in front of me, um, then yeah, then it's quite easy. Then you can do it. So, first off, uh, what you're going to need to do is you need to you're gonna have to get a few gachas as you can see and I'm using I'm playing on a PvE server called the Explorers quite a fun fun version of Ark just so we can play around and and you know just to get to get the game and try to to do the videos that I do so that it doesn't take so much time in in building like like official uh, uh, that's not gonna work so as you can see inside here so that's how many babies I've breeded for the gachas to to get to the one that it actually gives you the element dust ones. So basically, what you do is I, I use the the S the S plus tech platform, and then I just build this around circle around. So it's 12, 12 of those, and then I just use the double door frames to get the the little pillars up so it makes it look quite neatly and then just the S plus tech elevator so obviously that you're gonna need a gacha gavenger which I got over here so that you place down and then you place your gacha inside of it and then you just say start start feeding when you go in there you'll see the stop feeding and start feeding so once you get that going you leave it in there next up once you got this build you got your gavengers down Put down some crystal crackers so i've got three of them over here as you can see while we were talking now this is what mine produced so far and yeah look there i mean the element is is coming in so that's quite easy so once you got that set up so down like okay, down here is just my normal gachas up here is my five gachas that i use for element dust once they're in the gavengers Please know that you have to go to production and then right here by element dust you have to click element dust and then click it and then it will produce only element dust once it lay a crystal or drops a crystal let's see uh, if you pick that up you see that's one there ah uh, okay that was a bust <laughs> okay now <laughs> nine out of ten let's make it like that nine out of ten times because all of them just make sure you go production element dust then most of the time when they drop a crystal and you open it you get element dust but i only place down five because i don't use that much element at the moment um over there i've got the five snowy owls low levels that i just tamed so that i can use the the to feed them so yeah next up we're gonna go down for the crystal crackers you're gonna have to get a uh, item collector which can distribute and collect but obviously with this server is a bit modded so I'm using the S plus item aggregator so what you do here from here is you just go okay, to collection opens okay I've got my vivarium collected in here as well but you say all owl pallets and gacha crystals for the collection and then for distribution you just say gacha crystals to cracker uh, that picks up all the crystals and sends them straight to the crystal kraken and obviously I just keep this at five old pallets per gacha so if I'm not online so that the item collector can keep feeding the the gachas owl pallets so, so next up what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to place down some gardeners and some farmers so what I what I like to do is I place a lot of them and then my dung beetles are inside my greenhouse and then the gardener so the gardener is going to collect all the the food that we need for the gachas which i will show you down here so once you come in here let me just go on top i've planted a few new ones here 
so there it's plant species Y so yeah I don't know why I just tested it like a few times and the outcome is that the plant species Y is the best and most probably the easiest way to feed them and uh, I just find that the easiest way to go get going through that so I place them down like this I do six normal six to eight normal large uh, crop plots uh, you can't use S plus crop plots because they can't stack so just normal large crop plots and then they will stack up like this then you place them in and then as you can see fertilizer which the farmer is giving outside there there we come in here you have got my dung beetles producing me some fertilizers in here and which the farmer also helps with so guys yeah once you got all that set up and if you're struggling you only need one baby if you get one baby like i was lucky enough to get the one baby i pulled the cloning chamber and with the cloning chamber you just use that one baby i think it's 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 not even that much to clone a gacha um and then you just clone that gacha five times ten times you can build that thing as high as you want to and then once that's done you just do the normal transfer button and i know most of you guys are familiar with the s plus transfer control unit so i just do that so over here i just do the plants to gachas and then when you activate that just you see on top 950 so that feeds that feeds the gacha scavengers so the scavengers can feed the gachas once you're done with that just make yourself another transfer control button to take from the crystal crackers over there so you make another button to the auto crafter now i gotta say from the s plus motion this is by far the best thing that s plus has brought in so what you use is once you've sent that down here now you made it make a take dedicated one just for for element dust as you can see what i did there so what you got to do is you got to come in here select crafting station it's your character select recipe is unstable element like that and then start crafting and then you just i'm just going to move it over for this video quick move it over like that as you can see boom there we got like 6 12 18 36 element in uh, i think it was like 10 minutes while i was just playing and walking around here and doing everything like that so yeah guys that that's that's the easiest and best way that i found to, to get some element from from the gachas and on all itself i mean you can do the loot drops and do the element veins and on genesis get the crystals but it's so much dangerous this you can leave here you use your plants and it's like a auto generating element and it's so 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 much easier so stay tuned for future content subscribe to my channel i know you want to just hit that red button just subscribe and we can go forward if you guys want any videos anything i want if you guys want something done explained whatsoever just drop me a comment in the comment section below and i'll do the video as you guys requested and hopefully i can help you guys happy gaming gents and ladies goodbye